Hey everyone, it's Amanda here from Blogs by Jarvis, blogsbyjarvis.com. Today we're going to be looking at my newest recipe in the Blogs by Jarvis Recipe Club, and this is going to be a text summarizer recipe to summarize or condense text. In this instance, we're going to be looking at summarizing a book review or book summary. And obviously Jarvis isn't going to be able to summarize an entire book, but what we can do here is we can take some information from Amazon. So I've taken the book title of Billy Summers. The author is Stephen King. The audience is suspense fiction fans. And here we have the Amazon text about the book. So basically we want to condense this down even further into just the real essence of the book. So the first command we're going to use here is condense the above into a two sentence summary of this book. Okay, we've got slightly more than two sentences, but it's still a very good summary. Love it. Billy Summers is a man in a room with a gun. He's a killer for hire and the best in the business, but he'll do the only job. He'll do the job only if the target is a truly bad guy. And now Billy wants out. But first, there's one last hit. I love that. OK, so that was a very simple command. Condense the above into a two sentence summary of this book. So we're going to keep those because they're very good outputs. And next, we're going to look at a slightly different way to ask. So I'm just going to copy that. And put that here. The only reason I, I move the text around like this is I just keep the work that I've done previously and just move it down the page. Condense the above into a kiss into a see as you can see we haven't given very many parameters here so whilst we've said concise Java still can't get it done in uh, you know, a couple of sentences. So let's look at the next command. What I like to do is I like to be a little bit more specific. So next we're going to look at condense the above into a concise summary of this book to appeal to suspense fiction fans. So now we're defining the audience. I like that. Billy Summers is a man who wants to, to let's get out of the business of killing for hire. He does it only if the target is a truly bad person, but now Billy's out of target. There's one last job though, and something does and something goes wrong. This book has an interesting duo that will go on to confront an evil man who deserves to be avenged. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Now we're going to look at a slightly different way to write it. Now we're going to ask Jarvis, condense the above into a concise summary of this book to provoke action with a clear talk call to action. So this is basically where we're looking to, to ask people to buy the book. This book is perfect for readers looking for an exciting read. Let's run that again. Oh, that's very simple. From legendary storyteller and number one bestseller Stephen King, the thriller Billy Summers is a must read. That's a very clear call to action. And then the last one that I like to try is condense the above into a two sentence summary book review. This story is about a man who was a sniper during the Iraq war. Billy decides that he wants to quit the job and move on with his life, but first he has one last hit. The events can take place in a small American town and lead to the discovery of a crime by an evil man. I love that. So now Jarvis has picked up that Stephen King is the author of The Dark Tower. 
So Billy Summers is an Iraq war veteran who is an expert sniper and wants to get out of the business. But he has one more job to do before he leaves. He shoots for bad guys only and the book follows him on his last contract. So there's many ways and many commands that you can use, but in this recipe, you'll find a list of commands and then suggestions of how you can target to your audience. So to appeal to suspense fiction fans, this is going to be the audience that you define at the top here. Or whether you want a call to action or whether you want to write a review. And obviously here we've been talking about books, but you can use that to summarize any text. So um, you could you know, condense the above into a two sentence summary. So you don't need book review. And then you could have condense the above into a concise summary to provoke action with a call to action. So we've put of this book, but whatever the, the, the text or the context of the text that you're summarizing would go in here. So this is Amanda at Blogs by Jarvis from the Blogs by Jarvis Recipe Club. I hope you found that helpful.